YT, YT, what's happening with you, baby? It's your boy, the LS Swap Guru. Today, we're gonna be working on this uh, 96 Impala right here, man. LS Swap. Try to get some interior down. We'll get into it. All right, the intro. Stock 6.0. Aluminum block, real LS2 from a Corvette. And I run the, hey, look, I'm, normally I sell these for 650. I'm gonna make a sale. I ain't sold harnesses in a while, man. You want one? I'm doing $100 off. Man. Yeah, so I think it is definitely time that I get a wider lens because I damn near got to stand back eight feet and I'm still not even getting the entire car. But today, my peoples, what we're going to be working on is uh, we're going to do this whole quarter panel. So from here, from here, all the way down to the back, this whole section right here is going to be done today. I have some new wheels. I'm not going to reveal them yet. Uh, they're actually on right there. I actually been having them for a minute now, but uh, I got to get cracking. I got to get some shit done. Honestly, this car is actually about to be shipped. If all goes well today, this car is about to go to. Uh, it's about to get painted. Go get prepped and painted. I got to get these cars up out of here. And yeah, basically, I got to get these cars up out of here, man. They've been sitting too long, and I know I can do the swap portion of it, but the paint and all that, I'm gonna leave somebody, leave it to someone that actually knows what they're doing. And I dropped the interior off to twin car, so that's gonna be in a whole different other video. But for the time being, what I'm about to do is get this car jacked up before the gentleman gets here and knock this thing out. Uh, it was actually supposed to be an Ivan that was gonna knock it out, but he's kind of tied up, kind of busy, so I had somebody else jump up on it because I need this shit done ASAP. So here's basically the before. I might get some footage working i don't want to bother to do too much but this is the before has a dent here small little dent there has a i guess you call that a dent as well and it's not looking it's not looking too shabby right here right there this portion right here let me see y'all see right here this is not it's a dent right here this is the main problem so the rim fits on here but it need like this dent up here needs to be pulled out I'm not sure if y'all can see with my hand or not, but this needs to be pulled out and flared just a tiny bit because I tried it on my boy car and the wheel fits damn near perfect. I don't know if he's going to have to do both sides. <sighs> so what I'm probably going to end up doing is jacking up the car, bringing it towards me more so he can actually get to both sides and uh, snatch all the interior out today, send it over to the interior shop and... I ain't been on this side of the car in a minute. Ain't a reason to come over here, I suppose. But I think this side might be good. But I'm going yeah, I'm gonna with the car, man, because I just rather him. I just rather both both of the back wheels be on. And maybe this will be the video that I reveal the rims on as well. This is basically an update. I'm gonna do an update on each one of these cars individually. This is all the interior. My boy Ramal. Ramal, I'm calling you out, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy Ramal is supposed to be holding, uh, <laughs> I almost said I'm holding responsible. My boy Ramal is supposed to be helping me uh, do all the interior pieces, all the plastic trim and stuff like that. 
on the seats we're just going to do a bench job i'm gonna go buy the leather and take it up there to get done um i'm gonna go buy the interior and stuff and get it done and then from there i think that's it it's not going to be too hard i'm a, i made a video previously stating that the giveaway is done and uh finalized so i'm going to be posting some numbers so this is actually going to be the second video i kind of pretty much showed the car and all that already the way it is but now i'm going to show the car on its own video the door panels as you can see the lower portions are pretty beat so what we're going to be doing is this is the front and i had a 93 caprice that i bought has some good fronts so we're going to basically take this bottom half and use this top half the car is a blue I do not feel like lifting the hood. Well, I guess if I'm making this video, I kind of have to hit lift the hood on because it's a separate video, but it ain't. Ugh, there we go. I can lift the hood for y'all. It's, uh, for everyone wondering what the engine is, this is a stock 6.0 aluminum block real LS2 from a Corvette, uh, from a C6 Corvette, bone stock, Stock 243s, stock 6.0 bottle man, stock everything. Uh, honestly, this engine actually was rebuilt when I tore it apart. I looked at it, everything. It don't even like the engine was even fired. It actually was seized, not seized, but it was actually, uh, no, the engine actually was seized. It was like outside in the rain or something like that. And it got to a point to where the engine was spinning and it stopped. What happened was I believe somebody took it to the machine shop and they didn't allow, they probably got a short block built or something like that. And they put five three gaskets on so the engine step kept basically seizing so or it kept the engine stopped spinning once it got to a certain point so i took it off looked at it and i didn't even notice it instantly i basically put the heads on without the gasket and spent i said i know what it is grab the u60 gasket put it in there torque it down spins freely so now we have a new <laughs> ls2 for the low skis but this is under the hood that's the color that the uh, the entire car is going to be so what I plan on doing is the interior is going to be all gray with blue stitching. The carpet, I'm not sure on. I kind of want to do the carpet with the blue stitching as well. But Ramal told me just to keep it all OG. So I got to just map it out in my head. I don't really want, I ain't going to say what I'm going to do, man. I'm just going to do it and knock it out. And y'all just got to roll with your boy. Headliner, all that stuff is coming out. And more than likely, uh, the trunk. So gang of stuff in the trunk, like some headers and stuff. I don't want to break nothing but the trunk, all the stuff. That's the headers to twin car. Oh, shit, a computer? Let it be a blue red. Please let it be a blue red. I don't know what it is, but I just found a computer. I'm about to go plug that bitch up right now, because if it's a blue red, I'm on duty. I'm on duty. There's the other door panels right there. That's for the uh, passenger side, so... I just dropped a good brand new engine harness. If you need an engine harness for sale, holla at your boy. Show y'all what these harnesses looking like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna never see one of these. Check me out, Playboy. So it got the distribution block, it got the one for the fuel pump, one for the uh one for the fuel pump, one for the main fuses. Uh it's a single wire hookup, ignition key hot. This is uh the fuel pump signal and ground. Fuel pump signal and hot. Yes, it comes with OBD2 port. It has all the wires for, uh, it has all the wires for your speedo, your tech and all that stuff. Mine also come with AC wire hooked up and E85. Um, in case you wanna run E85 and what else? Hot here. Uh, I have two grounds, a ground here. And you have one ground for the back of the head right here. So that's it, man. You want to buy one of these bad babies? You see that nice split braided loom? You know what I'm saying? Damn, they're looking like a Terminator X. Man, I run the... Hey, look, I'm, normally I sell these for 650 But you know it's Memorial, you know what I'm saying? It's more Memorial weekend. So what your boy going to do is, until February 1st, it's about a two, three week wait on these things. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a sale. I ain't sold harnesses in a while, man. But I just placed a big order. If you want one, I'm doing $100 off. It's going to be $550. So I'm 
550 bucks, man. So tap in with your boy. Let me know if you need a harness. I got computers. I just found one. So <laughs> yeah, holla at your boy, man. should have did it before and after but the new wheels does fit on this thing the only thing is which i knew was going to be a problem because i wanted a big boy tire i don't want a big boy rim i wanted a big boy tire so uh <sighs> um the tire is hitting up there in the front but i already plan on doing the extended arms so the extended arms are going to uh the extended trailer arms are going to center the rear end i think it goes back uh an inch and something i can't remember exactly but yeah man uh get those on to push the rear back the tire should be on there perfectly uh it should be a perfect fit so he's gonna basically wet sand this and all the damn this damn thing feels so smooth the time is 118 so uh he said three hours be right at three hours man feel like only been like two but he knocked it out pretty quick so west sand and i'll show y'all the final product after he primer that thing so the wheels fit i was happy man because that was a <laughs> that was a big ass gamble from now on i'm taking the car to the wheel shop and having them do the right offset because the offset was right but it was just like uh it was off a little bit but my boy miller got it right for me you know what i'm saying he ran out of primer, but I told him don't even worry about it because, uh, yeah, don't even worry about it because he gonna do all the body work on it. Damn, what the hold on, wait a minute. I don't know I showing up on his phone, but this bitch is fucking mint. He said, don't worry about all this. He said he gonna cover all this in too. So, look at this shit, did this shit like a little less than three hours.